morning, Rishmin. Uh, how are you? Good morning, ma'am. I'm good. Good morning, sir. Hello, Rishmin. Okay, so let's start with your interview. Uh, please tell us about yourself. Sure, ma'am. Thank you for the question. I'm Rishmin Kaur. I'm originally from Indore, Madhya Pradesh. And I laid the foundations of my education at Sri Agrasen Vidyalaya Indore. My chosen field of study was biology, which I ultimately changed uh, in after high school. I earned a bachelor's degree in electronic media as I wanted to explore my creative sides more. And that choice provided me with a comprehensive understanding of various aspects of media creation and communication, which are vital in to today's digital era. Uh, in my undergraduation, I dabbled in various creative roles like uh, script writing, direction, acting, cinematography, as well as got to study really interesting courses like media law, psychology, etc. And beyond my uh, academic life, I derive pleasure from reading non-fictional books and uh, spending time with stray animals. Okay, so that's great, Rishmin. Uh, we'd like to know that why why are you going for MBA right after your graduation? You're, you're a fresher. So why not gain some experience first and then do an MBA? Sure, ma'am. While uh, gaining professional experience is valuable, I believe that an MBA offers a very unique and rigorous learning environment. So by pursuing it now, I I can acquire a diverse skill set, which will be which will make me better equipped to apply the learned theoretical knowledge into practical business challenges. Furthermore, uh, an MBA program also provides a plethora of resources and networking opportunities with very diverse peer groups, experienced faculty, industry professionals, and alumni networks. Hey, Rishmin, hello. So you said hello, that sir. you did your undergraduate in uh, electronic media. So what was your favorite subject back then and why? Thank you for the question, sir. My favorite subject was media and literature. And I think it was my favorite because it never felt like I am actually studying a course. Throughout the course, uh, I got to read various classics, a, a diverse range of authors and perspectives, which made me equipped to understand how even the oldest of literary works resonate with the modern society. And in my brain, I could relate them to the current happenings of the world. So that made it really interesting for me to learn that course. Okay, so, but we all know right now that social media is the buzz of the town. Yeah. So why, how do you think that lit sharing of literature has changed around the current time, especially with the advent of social media? So I believe that uh, first and foremost, social media has profoundly transformed the landscape of how literature is shared and read among the readers. The platforms like Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, they provide readers with the means to express their opinions and engage in conversations about books with like-minded like -minded individuals, which has created a very inclusive and global literary community. Additionally, authors are also benefiting from the revolution of social media because now they can engage with their audience in real time. They can host virtual book clubs, they can participate in discussions, they can respond to reviews, and they can even market their, they are even marketing their books through social media on a very large scale. But, uh, there are there are also some challenges uh, such as the influence of algorithms of these social media platforms on reading preferences of the population but uh, despite these challenges i believe that the overall impact of social media on literature has been overwhelmingly positive so back to on that topic so you talked about algorithm right and the challenge uh, of sharing of literature and reading preferences of people so how do you think yes. people can uh, combat these challenges and address these issues, basically? 
so i believe the challenge of of the algorithms creating a bubble where users are only predominantly uh, exposed to the content and recommendations they have previously liked so uh, i believe to combat these challenges uh, it requires uh, conscious efforts from both users and the platform makers readers should actively seek out diverse recommendations and participate in varied book communities and engage with the content which is beyond their suggested options and on the other hand platforms should also continually refine these algorithms to promote literary diversity and up and coming authors uh, okay so rishmin uh, you said you are from madhya pradesh so can you please tell us about three uh, unique things uh, about that place sure ma'am uh, madhya pradesh is the sole state in india which has a diamond mine it is located in panna uh, second unique fact would be uh, madhya pradesh hosts three unesco world heritage sites uh, namely the khajuraho monuments the bhim betka rock shelters and the great sachi stupa and the third unique fact would be the peach national park in madhya pradesh provided an inspiration to rudyard kipling's timeless classic the jungle book i'm sure all of us have enjoyed it in our childhoods yeah so th that's great so now let's talk more about india can you list down some ch major challenges that in india has been facing recently sure ma'am india grapples with various pressing issues in today's time at the forefront i believe is the issue of poverty and income inequality today a substantial population is living below the poverty line which is furthermore contributing to social disparities as well unemployment and underemployment particularly among the youth are also very persistent uh or in the case of economy inflation is another challenge affecting a huge chunk of indian population you and me both we every day see how fluctuating food and fuel prices are affecting the cost of living or of every citizen in this country and some other challenges i can recall are uh, access to affordable health care and environmental sustainability i think there has been steps taken in Uh, the direction to resolve these challenges, but we still have a long way to go. Okay. So, Rishmi, uh, is there an achievement or position or responsibility that you held prior to coming to do an MBA, specifically during your undergraduate or even during high school? Yes, sir. Uh, I used to. I actually have uh an online fashion store. so i would say my achievement is achieving financial independence through my online business taking that business from scratch to a place where it is generating revenue and has a loyal customer base that is a very big thing for a person like me who has never actually formally learned management and entrepreneurship and building that business did teach me basic skills in financial management business operations budgeting inventory management uh, adapting to the ongoing market trends in the fashion world and skills like that okay so as we all know there, there would be a lot of domains in the field of an mba so which domain are you most interested in at this stage i haven't really decided yet but i do have an inclination towards marketing okay so rishmin uh, can you tell me about the four p's of marketing sure so i'm not very well versed with the marketing concepts but i have read uh, something about the four p's uh, they stand for product price promotion and place the product refers to uh, whatever goods and services we are offering or a company is offering including its features designs qualities and such aspects the place focuses on the distribution channels and uh, which are making the product available to its target market 
uh, the promotion aspect um, uh, encompasses the various methods used to communicate and promote the product to the target audience. And am I forgetting when? I, oh yeah, yes, the price. It involves setting a competitive price and which is also profitable for our company. Uh, okay, thank you so much, Rishmin. Uh, that was it. Do you have any questions for us? No, ma'am. Thank you, Rishmin. With that, we can thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. So it was great speaking to you both. Thank you. Thank you. Likewise. So, uh, talking about the feedback for the candidate, I would like to mention uh, that the candidate was well versed with their uh, uh, undergrad subjects, which is one of the uh, most, uh, which is a question that is most likely to be asked in a CAP interview. Inside the fact that she was also very well versed and knowledgeable about the current happenings around the country. Um, so, try to brush up on things like the news that is in the finance sector and the buzzing news basically we can avoid the political news if possible but try to learn all the news that is happening around the time okay and another thing is that the candidate was point on with her when she was asked about where she comes from uh, they were able to answer very well and uh, also about uh, for, uh, positions of responsibilities because those questions are also likely to be asked asked in an interview our interview is very random and it's mostly in the power of the interviewer so the candidate here really did an amazing job in trying to sway the interview so when the question regarding social media and how literature is being impacted by it she quickly moved on to the topic of algorithm so there she knew that it was her strength and then I mean I, I had to ask her a question regarding the challenge so in that sense try to tweak your tell me about yourself try to highlight your positions of responsibility the things that you have done maybe the hobbies that you have to try to put more weightage when you say those answers and most probably the interviewer will always uh, ask you follow-up questions based on those responses so that was the feedback so from our end uh, all the best to all the candidates thank you thank you <laughs>